My name is Chris Harris and I'm from AlloyTutors.com and welcome to this video on rate equations. So in this video we're going to look at a generic example uh, of uh, an equation as you can see at the top there and we're also going to uh, do a worked example where we're going to calculate the rate constant which is k uh, and obviously along the way we're going to uh, highlight some of the pitfalls that you should try and avoid uh, and making sure that you actually get the correct answer including working out the units for these things as well which is so so important okay so we're going to start with our equation here abc uh, will produce d and e and the equation uh, the question sorry that links with this equation is the reaction above was found to be first order with respect to a and second order with respect to b uh, and zero order with respect to c and what we have to do is calculate the rate constant k when a equals 1.24 times 10 to the minus 2, uh, b is 1.79 times 10 to the minus 2, and c is 3.24 times 10 to the minus 3. And the rate for this reaction is 3.79 times 10 to the minus 3 moles per decimeter cubed per second. Right, so we're going to start by looking at uh, how we can actually calculate this thing. Now before we do that, actually, um, we've got these, these words which is orders. Uh, you do need to know what an order is of a reaction. So if you're not sure what orders are, first, second, zero, etc., uh, and the graphs that relate to them, then I have done a video that looks into these things, and it would be advised that you need to know about this stuff first before we actually go into this. So if you just click on the link below, you can have a look at the video there. Um, so let's make a start. So we're going to look at the, um, well, the first thing I suppose we need to write is the rate equation. So um, let's write it in blue. So rate. Okay, and rate is actually k. Now, little k is a, the rate constant, uh, which we'll come on to in a minute, because we've been given that, uh, we need to work that out, sorry, um, which is small k. Uh, and it's basically the concentration of the reactants um, that we've listed up here. Um, and it needs to be, um, have an indice at the top, depending on the order of the reaction. So what's determining the rate of this reaction? So you can see here that A is determining it because we've said A is first order. So what we're going to do is we're going to put square brackets A, first order, so it has a power of one, but obviously we don't write the power of one at the top there. Uh, we then go along, it's second order with respect to B. So what we do is we put B in square brackets. Because it's second order, we put a little two at the top. Uh, and this signifies that it has a more, more of a significant impact on the rate of the reaction if we were to change the concentration of B. That's what that 2 basically represents. Um, and you see it's zero order with C. Now, if it's zero order, it means that it doesn't matter how much we change the concentration of C, it's not actually going to have any effect on the rate. So because it doesn't have any effect on the rate, we don't include it in our rate expression. And mathematically, if you do anything to the power of zero, you're going to get one which is going to have no effect anyway on your overall equation. So uh, if you're mathematically inclined, then that might uh, that might explain it there. OK, so we've got our rate equation for our, for our question here. So all we have to do is just substitute the numbers into it, which is pretty straightforward. So um, the rate value, we've got the rate to be 3.79 times by 10 to the minus 3. So we're going to put that there. 3.79 times by 10 to the minus 3. And that's our rate. Uh, and that's going to equal K, which we don't know. That's what we need to work out. Uh, and then we need the concentration of A, which is 1.24. And we should be, there you go, 1.24 times by 10 to the minus 2. Okay, so this is obviously multiplied, all this stuff. So you've got K times by 1.24 times by 10 to the minus 2. Uh, and then we're going to multiply that one by... Um, B. Now B was 1.79, which is there, times by 10 to the minus 2. And that's obviously going to be squared because we've got to uh, take into account that we've got second order for B. So here's our numbers here. And then all we have to do, obviously, is to try and rearrange this because we need to work out K. We don't need uh, the rate bit because we've already, obviously already got that. So um, again, we need to rearrange this. So if we rearrange this, we should get k, uh, and k should equal your um, rate, which is this bit here, 3.79 times by 10 to the minus 3, and we're going to divide that by, now this is divided by a and b squared, so we've got this number times by b squared, so if you multiply these two numbers together um, in your calculator, you should get 
3.97 times by 10 to the minus 6. So 3.97 times by 10 to the minus 6. Okay, so that's what we should have, our rate on the top and our concentrations of A and B on the bottom. So if we put that into our calculator, then K should come out at 954.7. Okay, so there you go, there's our answer. That's relatively straightforward, it's not too bad. You've just got to make sure you get your orders obviously in the right place um, and omit any orders that are zero order. Uh, that's pretty important. So obviously making sure the number's in the right place and rearranging it. Um, but the next bit, actually you get marks for writing the units for this thing. And you can work out the units pretty simply actually. Uh, you can see here that obviously this, sometimes K doesn't have units sometimes, uh, but in this case it does. So we're going to try and work them out. So Really easy, all we do is see where the numbers are on here. Remember this was rate, this bit here when we've rearranged it. We just write the units of rate over here. So what we're gonna do is do this in a different color. Let's do this in red. Okay, so if we find out the units, so we'll put units over here. So units are worked out pretty simply. So we've got the rate units, which is moles per dm cubed per second. Okay, so that's the units for rate. And then we've got the units for concentration. Now you can see here we've got moles per dm cubed for A. So we're going to put that there. Because this is concentration. And then we've got the uh, units for this one, which is B. But we've got squared. So what we do is we write moles per dm cubed twice because we've got two lots of B. It's to the power of two. So we're just going to write moles per dm cubed twice. Okay, so there we go. So there's our units set out. So that's how we've done it. And all we have to do is just cancel um, ones which are similar on the top and the bottom. So we're just going to use, um, let's use the blue one. So you can see we've got a mole there, a mole there, dm cubed, dm cubed. Cancel them out. You can see what we've got left now is a moles per dm cubed and a moles per dm cubed and an s to the minus one. So all we need to do is actually bring these, these ones here at the bottom, bring these up onto the top line. But when we do so, we need to invert the actual um, units. So you can see here, this is mole and mole, uh, and we have a power of one next to them. Obviously, we don't show this in this. Because we've got two moles here, that's going to be mole two. But because this is positive one, when we flip it onto the top line, it turns into minus. So effectively, the first unit here is going to be mole minus two. We've got two moles, and we invert them, so it turns into minus two. The dm bit, you can see we've got dm cubed, dm cubed, or dm minus 3, sorry, and then dm minus 3. Add them together, that will give you dm minus 6. Invert the sign, because we're bringing it on the top, that's dm plus 6. So that's going to be dm6. Uh, and then obviously the s to the minus 1 is already on the top there, so we don't need to do anything with that. We literally just copy that down right next to it. So there are your units, 4k. Now, it's also important to note as well, that uh, this value of k is unique to this particular experiment here. Uh, k is affected by temperature. So depending on the actual temperature that you've been given, it uh, will depend on the value of k. And you've got to watch out for that as well. This value, we all we do call it a constant, but it actually does kind of change a little bit uh, depending on the temperature. So as long as you're aware of that, because uh, sometimes they do ask that in the exam, um, and it's not actually the word constant, doesn't actually apply to this one as such, although it is constant for that temperature, so a little bit cheating really, but there we go. There's all the uh, equations there. Make sure you get your uh, orders correct. Make sure you um, make sure you can re rearrange your equation properly, and don't be alarmed if you don't have any units for K. Sometimes it doesn't have units if everything cancels out on the top and the bottom. That's it. Bye-bye.